They attract millions of visitors each year, generate billions of dollars in revenue, but the beaches of South Florida are facing a crisis. Sand washed away by storms and erosion is normally replenished using sand dredged offshore, but that's an increasingly precious commodity. And in Miami, they're about to run out of sand altogether. And all the tourism places are for ocean and sand. So if we don't have sand, we don't have anything. Not a good thing. I mean, this is very enjoyable. We, uh, we come down here all the time. I'm sorry, but I'm grateful for, where, for what's here. It's great. It's nice. And it seems like there's still plenty. It might look that way, but Brian Flynn, who's been working on beach restoration for 30 years, says the situation is now critical. We don't at this point have a clear-cut solution to it. And, uh, you know, so far, you know, we're in the middle of hurricane season right now. In fact, we're at the peak of hurricane season right now. And we've been lucky so far, but if we were to have a major storm, uh, we would have to come up with a source of sand very quickly. Among the solutions now being considered to avert this impending crisis is to bring sand in from places like the Bahamas, mine it inland here in Florida, or even use ground-up glass to replace sand on beaches like this. But there are those in the environmental community that say all of this is ignoring a much larger, much deeper global crisis. We're going to lose our port facilities, our airport. All these things are just going to be non-functional. And the same is true with Broward County. Professor so. Harold Wanless studies global warming and says rising ocean levels pose a much greater threat. He predicts much of South Florida will be underwater by century's end, perhaps much sooner. And he thinks the search for sand is fruitless. At what point do we quit pouring money into a lost cause and start spending the money in, in helping people buy out and relocate. But for now, authorities are continuing their search for sand and are confident a solution will be found. The beaches here are worth a fortune and most want to enjoy them while they can. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami Beach, Florida.